Hi, my name is Hannah. Today I am going to scrub my house. I've been recently very motivated by Jamie's journey, Simply Alley, Clean My Space videos here on YouTube. Every Friday I was giving my house a good general clean, dusting, cleaning the bathroom, sweeping and mopping, you know, just the typical bare minimum once a week good clean of, of the house but there were definitely some things I was leaving unattended for example the yuck in the bottom of the oven the nasty stuff in the tub like the, the, our tiled shower definitely needed to be scraped and scrubbed and front porch needed a good cleaning. There was just a lot of things that needed to be really, really scrubbed. <laughs> I was avoiding I it. Like um, so the time has come to go ahead and, and really give my home, our home, a good scrub. Ha ha, I got it. Ha ha, I got it. I got it. You want a banana? You say banana? Mmm, yummy! I babysit two sweet little boys, so if you're seeing two little blonde haired boys around, that's why. <laughs> I babysit both of them two days of the week and just the baby three days of the week. Before getting to some of those more major tasks, I wanted to go ahead and just clean up the kitchen, you know, do the typical daily morning clean of the kitchen, putting away clean dishes and making sure all the dishes are washed and boy, I wish I could wash dishes this fast, but alas, it is not to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, it's windy outside. As far as pets, we have a German Shepherd named Toro, and we just got two rabbits, Sherlock and Watson. I use the Mrs. Myers hand soap, dish soap, and the multi-surface concentrate and scent basil. It smells so good. I use it all over my kitchen to wipe the counters down, wipe the microwave down, wipe the oven down. Just, yeah, it smells really good. Before I start babysitting, right around the time we got married last year, I was working for a cleaning company. It was very fascinating. I learned some pretty good, effective, and efficient ways of cleaning, which... I definitely implement in my home now. If you listen carefully, you'll catch the baby saying, Miss Hannah. It's so cute. What's wrong? Our kitchen chairs and his baby booster seat was so disgusting. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> 
scary. You're funny. Can you get out so I can clean it? Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Come here. Hey. Yeah. Here. You can help me clean it. Yeah. You can help me clean it. Ew, crumbs and stuff. There's crumbs and stuff. You just gonna get back in it? Are you hungry or what? You trying to say something? No. You just had breakfast. What are you trying to say? Back in it again. This was so satisfying. It was so gross and so in need of being scrubbed. It was just grime and ugh. We actually got this table and chairs for 60 bucks, I believe, off of Facebook Marketplace, which was really cool because we were just about to get married and we needed a kitchen table and chairs and it was just perfect. Because we allow our German Shepherd to be in the house sometimes, in specific areas of the house. We still track his fur through the house, and it just seems to stick right on the bottom of the kitchen chair legs. It is so disgusting. But we love him so much. He is the most loyal, protective dog. So... It's okay. It's okay. I will clean off the bottom of the kitchen chair legs. I really enjoy cleaning and organizing. Cooking, not so much, but we're getting there. My mother-in-law gave me this very awesome window cleaning rag. I'm not even sure what it's called. I think she got it at a Amish store here in Indiana. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, all you do is add water, wipe down the window, and it just takes away all the yuck. And then you just, I run it through my washer, and it works great. Um, I ended up focusing on the sink way more than I was actually intending to. I like scrubbed it with soft scrub, with the bleach. Um, I put some bleach in the sink and filled it up and let it sit for a bit. I used some barkeeper's friend on the um, spout, whatever you call it, the faucet, there we go. <laughs> And then I wiped everything down with the Mrs. Meyers multi-surface concentrate again, or concentrate in water. I have like a glass squirt bottle that I use. It's so nice. Look how shiny that is. Oh, that's nice. When I worked for the cleaning company, we actually used drying rags to dry everything. When we were done, it didn't matter if it was the sink, the counters, literally anything we would wipe it down. There was not supposed to be one droplet of water left or one water drop mark. It was supposed to be absolutely perfect, absolutely shiny. I really enjoy homemaking, especially the cleaning part of it, the organizing, the laundry. Like, I, I enjoy that stuff. Um... There are days, though, when it gets a little bit overwhelming, and um, 
thankfully, the Lord blessed me with a very kind, loving husband who will um, come home from a long day at work and help me out. Uh, he enjoys cooking, and so that's really nice because I really don't. <laughs> um, so we do it together. We we cook together. Um, we've kind of figured out a system that works for us. Um, I typically do most of the cleaning um, inside of the house because I enjoy that. Um, he does more of the outside work, like the, the mowing and blowing leaves and that kind of thing. Um, and then we fold laundry together. He folds his laundry. I fold my laundry typically. Um, yeah, so it's been really fun learning to work together the past year. We will be celebrating our first anniversary here in just a couple of weeks. We got married over Thanksgiving weekend last year, which is also his birthday. So that's cool. My husband Kendrick and I have been discussing what direction we want our YouTube channel to go because <laughs> we started it as a channel together. We wanted to, you know, film our memories. Um, we kicked off our channel with our wedding video, our honeymoon video. We went to the Redwoods in California for our honeymoon. And so we kind of just wanted to film our memories, you know, and share it with our family and friends. Um, but as time goes on, that's, it's not quite working out as we had originally thought. Um, Kendrick's pretty busy, you know, he, he works, he's on the fire department, he's a volunteer firefighter, and, um, so he has meetings every week, pretty much every week. Um, also he delivers pizza, um, Wednesday nights, Wednesday evenings, and so, yeah, he's just, he's a little busy to be, um, doing YouTube as well. And so it's kind of turned into more my channel, if anyone has noticed. <laughs> um, and I'm not quite sure what direction I want to go with it because, yeah, we're still trying to figure it out. Um, I paused in my cleaning at this point because I was making, Kendrick and I were making a salad for a church event. We are hoping to get some projects done this winter inside the house. We want to get the laundry room painted and the hall back to our bedroom painted. Whenever I clean the bathrooms, I take um, the trash and hook the trash bag on the bathroom doorknob and then as I'm cleaning, all the dirty paper towels and stuff goes into that trash bag.
this room we like to call the jacuzzi room because, okay, obviously, this is the room with the jacuzzi in it. We got our jacuzzi just before we got married. Um, we got it for 60 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace. We kind of like Facebook Marketplace, if you can't tell. We have loved this jacuzzi. Um, I use it all the time. Um, it's so relaxing. I like to use the Dr. Teal's Epsom salt in the scent lavender. Anyway, but because we use it a lot, it needs to be cleaned every week or every couple weeks. Candles can make a space feel so cozy. I have a candle in most rooms in our house. I like to get my candles from either Ross or just the um, $5 ones from Walmart. I really like the Alpine Forest scent from Walmart right now. I have that one in my kitchen. It smells so good. I'm going to move on from our jacuzzi room and into our closet. The closet is huge, and that is because it used to be someone's bedroom. Um, and our room used to be their living room, and the jacuzzi room used to be their kitchen. So it, it was like a added-on apartment for the previous owner's mother. This is the bathroom at the other end of the house. This is actually the guest bathroom. What is your favorite household task? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. That is it for today. I will be back soon with another cleaning video. Uh, at least now my house is pretty well cleaned and ready for some deep cleaning coming right up.